So what is augmented analytics? Uh, for us, the way we think about it, it's fundamentally uh, automating uh, as many of the analytical processes as possible. So that could be from a data preparation perspective, it could be for creating new analyses, it could be the delivery of, of insight to business users directly. And so thinking about all of those components, how they interact together, and creating a seamless platform for business users to get insight far more rapidly than they do today. That's, that's really how we think about augmented analytics. For us, I think what we see is, is really, really exciting about this space is the potential to really focus far more on the business user than has traditionally happened in the past with analytic platforms. So for us, when we think, you know, when we're planning this and, and looking at where the value is being generated, it's really for that business user. It's for them to be able to get to their insights in the least number of steps possible, as quickly as possible, so that as a platform, we're delivering value to them as rapidly as possible because they're the ones that are generating revenue. Those are the ones that, those are the people that drive businesses forward, not the data analysts, not the people who are the data engineers preparing data. Uh, it's really around the business, uh, business users' experience and, and how they consume data and how quickly we can get that to them. We've, we've built this uh, a roadmap around augmented analytics now that is, is probably about 18 months to two years uh, worth of effort. And there's going to be some significant changes within the platform uh, to enable that. So uh, our next release already has a, has a, a really sharp focus on it. So we'll be seeing um, the addition of uh, augmented analytics in creating new analyses for so for someone who's actually there building um, a new doing some doing some new analyses when they they'll be able to automate that process they'll be able to actually ask the question simply say well, what I'm trying to do today is find out about why Europe is different to Asia as an example in sales and so we'll be able to get them to those insights far faster than having to drag and drop and and to try every possible combination in their data. That'll happen automatically via algorithms. The second part that I think is really exciting that's coming out in this release too will be the ability for uh, a business user who's looking at their dashboard, if they see outliers in their data or they see a sharp change in trend, is actually be able to ask, why did that change? What was the underlying differences in my data that made that happen? So we're gonna be running a whole set of algorithms on the data then to be able to come back to the business user and go, here are the top five things that drove that change and actually really give them that insight. So rather than just looking at the fact of change, is actually telling them why it changed and giving them that insight so they can actually go and act upon it and you know, change and build strategies within their businesses that react to that data. So that I think is really, really, really exciting.